thanks very much for that. Like I said, no festival is complete without food. This is the Next Act food truck, and I'm here with Mac Mail. He's the co-organizer of What the Trucks. Now, What the Trucks is something bigger than El Fresco. It's something that's been happening all month in May. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, first of all, and then we'll get into the food that's happening with the El Fresco event. So What the Truck is a festival for food trucks, and uh, we started it last June. Uh, and the idea is really to focus on food trucks. So all kinds of events have food, yeah. but it's always sort of an afterthought. And we thought, or you know, a secondary piece. And we thought food trucks could be the focus. Uh, so we created What the Truck. And we did a couple of events last year. And we have a series of smaller events, which is four trucks or less, uh, that we've been doing every Thursday night in May in uh, Old Strathcona called Truck Stop. Okay, and how's that been going? Really, really great. The response has been really positive. It's the first time the food trucks have been allowed in Old Strathcona, which is a big deal. And uh, every week, uh, the attendance numbers just go up. The, the trucks keep selling out. I think we're going to have to come down on Shaw TV and come this Thursday night and visit, because that's totally up my alley. It's hard to find someone that doesn't love food. And even on the Food Network, they now have a, a total show devoted to food trucks. Eat Street, if you've seen it, it's fabulous more than just the trucks at this year's El Fresco event. What else is happening for food? Yeah, so we're bringing the trucks to El Fresco. So we're going to have a What the Truck at El Fresco, which is uh, really a cool thing. We get to take advantage of the street being closed. Um, but the restaurants on the street, Sin and Blue Plate Diner, uh, they all have extended patios as, as they've done in previous years. So they kind of open out onto the street, which is awesome. Uh, you get to sit out on the patio and enjoy the yeah. weather. Hopefully it's nice and sunny and warm. Um, and then in the uh, license area, so there's a, a wine and alcohol tasting tent. Um, there's also going to be Trey Carnalis in there serving mm. up their uh, Mexican food. Great Mexican food. And it's such a beautiful day down in downtown Edmonton right now. I think you can see the, the, the sun shining on my pale white face. <laughs> I'm wearing SPF today. <laughs> That being said, what happens if there is rain on the big event because it is an outdoor event? That's a good question. I'm not sure if we have a backup plan at the moment. Um, you know, it's uh, for our truck stops in, uh, in Old Strathcona, certainly a couple of times it's rained. Okay. And uh, one of the cool things about the act actually is they have umbrellas that they'll give to people in line. That's so amazing. They, they still run, you stand in line with an umbrella and it's kind of a, it's a different way to have a, a community feel to it as well. In the rain, people still want to eat. Excellent. So fingers crossed that there's no rain on the big day. What is your favorite food that's going to be there to entice our viewers at home? Well, the act has some tasty stuff. Okay. They do burgers. It's a subset of their uh, their menu at the at the pub um, in in Old Strathcona there. So I love the fish sandwich. Uh, it's really great. I had it the last week at Truck Stop. Um, I'm also a fan of the waffles from Eva's Sweet. They're going to be out. Uh, you can't go wrong with those waffles. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely hungry. So we're going to have to grab a bite from the next act and then move on over. Thanks so much, Mike. We'll be right back here on Shaw TV.